Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFL Week 7 preview between the San Diego Chargers and the New York Jets. Now you look at the Chargers coming to this game, they're the ones traveling all the way out east to face the Jets. What they have to do is do a little bit of what the Dolphins did last week. You spread these teams out. You spread a team like the Jets out. They're very aggressive and the Chargers have that ability. So what I look for the Chargers to come in and do is spread the Jets out and attack the middle of the defense. That's gonna put a lot of pressure on the slot corner, the nickel corner, the dime corner, the safeties. And it's also gonna put a lot of pressure on those linebackers to get an effective bump on those deep on those wide receivers as they release down the hash so i would stay in the spread and put a lot of pressure on that jets defense also you look at the offensive side of the football that offensive line can do a great job of keeping philip rivers protected because the jets quiet as kept do not apply pressure like we think they do but the jets don't get after the quarterback and that's going to leave a lot of running room for whoever's going to be back there at tailback for the chargers now you look at the defensive side of the football if i'm the san diego chargers coming in i would make sure i play the run on the way to the quarterback the jets don't run the football enough to where you have to respect the play action and they don't run it effective enough to where you take that extra guy uh, put an extra guy in the box so i would just play the run all the way to the quarterback it's all about getting pressure on mark sanchez and when you get pressure on sanchez you put a lot of pressure on brian schottenheimer because he has to become more creative and not predictable in this play calling now let's look at the jets in this matchup you look at what the jets can do offensively there's some talent i like mark sanchez i know a lot of people around the media give him flack but i like sanchez he's not a scary quarterback as we always like to say at football game plan he's decisive he's athletic he has a live arm he can make all the throws his issue is Brian Schottenheimer Schottenheimer can get predictable and it causes a lot of it causes a lot of issues with that offense and that's why the offense sputters and that's why it sputtered last week for the first half against the Miami Dolphins now also offensively if I'm looking at the Chargers they're a 3-4 defense the greatest way to attack a 3-4 defense is utilizing the tight end so I look for Dustin Keller to have a huge day against the Chargers it's up to Sanchez to get him the football and if Keller can get going then that's going to open up a lot of things with the Jets wide receivers unfortunately the Jets only run a lot of two-man routes I would like to see a slot guy emerge as a threat now defensively you have to do something whatever it is the jets need to do to get out the philip rivers he's a stationary target constant pressure on rivers disrupts his timing and it makes him uncomfortable in the pocket because he was like to stand up stand there step up and fire get him going left to right and that's a huge win for the new york jets and i look for the wide receivers of the uh chargers try to win a lot of jump balls but the good thing about the jets they have physical corners with height and that's a huge matchup for the Jets that they can exploit by playing close to the line of scrimmage and really helping getting more pressure on the quarterback. Now let's look at some X factors in this game. X factor for the San Diego Chargers has to be the kicking game. If the kickers come in and do what they're supposed to do, I'll talk about kickers and punters, keeping these guys in the game as far as the kicker is concerned, punters have to make the Jets drive the length of the field. That's something they haven't yet they have yet to shown uh, yet to show this season. So I look at the kickers and the punters to have a huge uh, factor in this ball game now the Jets X factor has to be Brian Schottenheimer again creativity without being predictable is going to be the huge thing if he can be creative without losing his uh, without becoming predictable the Jets can do a lot of things on offense because there is some talent I'm going with the Chargers in this game I don't think the Chargers match up I don't think the Jets match up well with the Chargers I like what I saw two weeks ago from San Diego I didn't like what I saw last week from the Jets against the Dolphins and this is a better team that will spread these guys out and have a lot of success. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan. And listen to the Football Game Plan radio show, which airs Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern time at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan.